The Eurovision Song Contest is an international TV song competition which first began in 1956. It was created as a way of helping to build positive relationships between all the different countries in Europe. Each country taking part enters an original song to compete in a live television show. And whichever singer or group receives the most votes takes home the Eurovision trophy. Also, the winning country will host the competition the following year. Over the years, the competition has drastically grown and changed. Rules have shifted, as have the voting styles. But one thing is for sure, there has been some incredible winners and even runners-up in what is possibly one of the most diverse, not to mention most watched, musical contests ever. The contest has become so popular that we even have countries outside of Europe taking part. Countries such as Australia and Israel. We think it is great how welcoming the competition is. Wouldn't it be wonderful if one day every country could take part? OK, hopefully you are now in tune with what Eurovision is all about and you are as excited as we are. So this year is proving to be as spectacular as ever, with 43 countries competing in total, each with their own unique style, idea and sound. And you know what? This competition is really great for helping us to understand how diverse, vibrant and wonderful all the different people in our world are. Yeah. The theme of the competition this year is All Aboard, which is just perfect because not only does it represent the history that Portugal shares with the ocean, but it also lets all of the other countries know that here in Lisbon, everyone is welcome. So this year we were lucky enough to watch a few of the rehearsals before the big night. And I'm sorry, but we just couldn't help dancing and singing along. It feels like I'm stuck here in time while I've been trying to forget ya. Just wanna dance, dance, dance you up. So don't you dare, dare, dare wait up. This the girl who's not out here still. Man, that's the truth. We're getting the sound and never you till. It's the fuck of nothing, fuck of nothing, but he's fuck of nothing. So I'm here in the arena and it is so cool, it's absolutely huge. That's the stage over there behind me and I've just watched the final 26 um, competitors do their rehearsal and they sound amazing. And you know what else is awesome? They're all so different and there's some really good songs to dance to as well. I have to say, I think my one of my favourites is definitely Cyprus, um, also Australia's good, and we're pretty good too, the UK. And here are a few other performances which I thought really stood out. Island Song Together was really sweet and great for reminding the whole world that love can happen between any two people no matter who or what gender they are.
I thought Austria's song Nobody But You was really cool and it seems like a lot of other people did too which is probably why this song did really well in the competition. The Eurovision Song Contest reminds us that we can all come together to celebrate different types of music. And I think it's fantastic that by the end of the night, all of our hearts are beating along to the same rhythm. Even yours, Pop. And the 2018 winner is... Netta from Israel. Congratulations, Netta. Thank you so much for choosing different. Thank you so much for accepting differences between us. Thank you for celebrating diversity. Thank you. I love my country. Next time in Jerusalem. And now it's time for me to say something I've only ever dreamed of. Thank you, Europe! 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 Well, this has been my trip to Lisbon, Portugal to see the Eurovision Song Contest 2018. Thank you so much for coming with me. And if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe! And we... We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.